Hey, good morning, everybody. Crypto Mentor 99 here. Crypto Mentor 99. It is still the morning of September the 26th. Want to do another video? Um, Mexico is in the news today. And no, it's not Donald Trump talking about the wall. Um, it's about Mexico and Bitcoin. And little side note. There's something about the Mexican flag that I really like. I love the color green and I love the color red. Red's been one of my favorite colors since I was in kindergarten or first grade. And I don't know, I just like the flag of Mexico. So the name of the article is Mexico on regulating Bitcoin and its emerging fintech sector. Mexico, Latin America's second largest economy, is looking towards adopting regulation that will help the emerging fintech sector flourish. Mexico's relationship with Bitcoin, like many, is fickle. But as early as 2014, Mexico began looking into its own very cryptocurrency, the peso digital. I didn't know that. I guess we're both learning something today. Since then, the idea has fizzled. I haven't heard that word in a while, a while, fizzled. The idea has fizzled, and officials have gone back and forth about the legitimacy of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. They're legitimate, let me tell you. As one of the strongest and fastest growing economies in Latin America, Mexico is also a relatively untapped market for a solution to one of its biggest financial problems. I think I know what that is because I've been reading a lot about the unbanked lately, people that don't have a bank. Um, sorry, in a humble way, oddly enough, I was right. The next sentence says over half, so over 50% of the country's 125 million citizens are lacking a bank account. Ouch. An issue which ambitious and innovative fintech companies are looking to solve. Well, good for them. Fintech is taking off in Mexico at an unprecedented rate and taking care of the underbanked is the biggest market. Cool. Legacy banking stagnating. In addition to more than half of all Mexicans living without a bank account, the system for those with bank with a bank is incredibly insufficient. That's not good. The World Bank has stated that there are only 14 banks per 100,000 people in Mexico, compared to 33 banks per 100,000 in the United States. So we almost have double the amount of banks for the same 100,000 people. Because of this, it is estimated that travel times to reach a bank, I never thought of that, travel times to reach a bank is near 42 minutes in rural parts of Mexico and 22 minutes in major cities. I never thought of people riding a bike or walking. Oh gosh. And then there's more wait times once you get to the bank. Um, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce this gentleman's name. Angel Angel, co-founder of Elbow, noted, if you have any problem, you have to visit a branch for more than 30 minutes. Young people in particular, that in particularly have higher expectations of the banking system. So hmm. the Bank of Mexico has taken a fairly strong stance on Bitcoin in denouncing Bitcoin as a currency. I always find it interesting when people use like super strong words to define or explain what their position is, instead of just saying, hey, I'm against this. You know, I'm strongly against this. So anyhow, little side note, in denouncing Bitcoin as a currency, Augustin Karstens, the bank's highest ranking official said, there is nothing to ensure it's accounting in a financial system. Labeling Bitcoin as a commodity rather than a currency. But this year, Karstens announced that the bank would seek to experiment. He's changing his mind already. 
seek to experiment with cryptocurrencies in order to figure out a plan of addressing potential complications and working towards creating regulations. I think I sound like a broken record, but the more, the more I read, the more governments, the more countries, the more central banks are warming up to the idea about cryptocurrencies, about Bitcoin, about blockchain technology, about smart contracts. Um, I'm not saying it's overwhelming me, but it's really overwhelming to know that in, I don't know, two, three, four, five years, cryptocurrencies could be I, taking over the world. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, is your Crypto Mentor 99? I appreciate you subscribing to my station. Thanks for clicking on the link. I appreciate each and every one of you. Give me a thumbs up, share this video, share my channel if you think I'm worthy to be shared. And we'll be in touch. Love you guys. Bye-bye.